mau ke e o kaina i ka pono Children, this land is yours forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Hey, aloha, may I get your name and why you're here? Wow, Tony, Castanya, a Tony. Why am I here? Yes. I'm here because this is sort of a sad day, I think. <laughs> the continuation of the, what is really a governorship in cahoots with the military. The two are intertwined. You know, Abercrombie is the Sanford Dole of today. He is very heavily uh, in cahoots with the military. And, well, I'll give you an example. Uh, you know, in the 1960s, late 1960s, early 1970s, Abercrombie used to be an anti-Vietnam War activist, anti-military, pot-smoking, pot <laughs> taxi-driving, <laughs> peace, love, and freedom advocate, yeah? He went from that to being a member of one of the most powerful military committees in the world called, called the House Armed Services Committee. And can I read something? Sure, please, okay. by all means. Uh, go for it. Let me just, just read. read nice and loud, but it's all Let me good. just read this. Read. A strong and effective voice. This is from the Huffington Post, by okay. the way. A strong and effective voice for Hawaii's military community. Military community. Not Hawaiian community. Not local community, but military community. Congressman Aber Abercrombie has won authorization for more than $13 billion in construction projects. Chiefly family housing and bachelor enlisted quarters in Hawaii. He secured house authorization for public-private partnerships to build, renovate, and maintain thousands of Hawaii military housing units. Thousands. Shall know the truth. These agreements the will generate more than $25 billion over a 50-year period. This is, this is extending long beyond his term here. This is a 50-year this is a 50-year project, more than $25 billion in military expenditures, contracts, etc., etc. So when I say that Abercrombie is the Sanford Dole of today, there's a direct relationship there. He, he is very strongly tied to the military. The military supports him. He supports the military. This is a travesty because the military are the illegal occupiers of this island, right? They're, they're the reason to begin with. I mean, they were, they're the, the, the tool that allowed for the, the overthrow to begin with. So this is just a con continuation. A continuation. Of what's been going on for over, over a century. So. I am now going on in other countries and nations via... Globally. Via this Globally, occupied that, nation. That House Armed <laughs> Services Committee, I mean, that's not just uh, national, that's international too. They have very powerful influence about what the mili U.S. military does around the world. Yeah, so he's he's strongly embedded with the military. So I, I think this is very important to point this out because throughout this campaign, we didn't hear about how strongly he's tied to the military. Yeah, so I thought it's important to uh, elaborate on this point. Oh, Mahalo Mahalo. Nui Loa. If anybody would like to know more of your Manalo, is there any way they can reach you? Uh, yeah, you can email me. Oh, okay. Castanha, C A S T A N H A, at hawaii.edu. Send me an email. Mahalo. Thank you very much. Aloha.